Hi, it's Ian Lewis, Mistral Bates Garden Tackle Blog. Um, arrived here about, I don't know, half past five, quarter to six. Come round to this swimming saw, a few fish roll. So uh, immediately um, dispatched three uh, chods out towards the showing fish. As you can see, the rods are just uh, laying down at the moment. So there may you know, another move may be on the cards, but you know you can't look, look a gift horse in the mouth if you uh, if you see fish roll. So I've got to have a go for them really. One one one's been put out on a 15 mil um, vampire squid by Mistral another on uh, coconut ice and another on the uh, FM which has been glugged um, so hopefully um, we'll see a bit of action this session see how it goes all on uh, 20 pound trip wire and uh, size 8 um, covert chod hook running on the old 45 pound uh, heavy heavy plummet lead core um, on to my favourite uh, main line which is a 20 pound uh, Hydra Tough in low vis green. A few people fishing uh, this morning, quite busy at this end actually, three or four anglers dotted about up in this bay, must be a reason for that, not just that they all want to fish near each other, I think the fish quite possibly are grouped up here but um, as I say, we give it a bit of time, and uh, as I say, a card may very well be on the move. A move may very well be on the cards, even. The fish just rolled over on the far bank there. Not sure what it was. All right, fingers crossed. Um, relocated into a swim known as the uh, Split Beach. Looks out onto um, an island and into the uh, a bay up the top there. I positioned one rod on a gravel spot just off the uh, sawn down uh, tree stump that you can see there. Probably a rod length off, slightly to the right near the overhang. Um, the other um, rod is positioned between the two stumps there. Good marker for at night time as well. Onto a nice firm silty area in around probably eight feet of water. That area over there is more like uh, six. And finally, An area further down the bank, rod length off of the overhanging uh, willow there. Um, a nice little gravel slope that meets a uh, nice bit of silt and beyond that's uh, weed. So any patrolling fish in the margins, hopefully we'll uh, snare one. There's camp for the night. All primed, ready to go. All on the same rigs as this morning, three chods over a spread of bait. Tactic, tactic that's worked for me uh, well in the past when the weed uh, is just coming up. Yeah, that's a grave you can see there with the uh, tin cans, they're not mine. Uh, it's in memory of a guy that used to fish here. Pads are starting to come up now. very weedy all around the pads though so uh, opted not to put a, a bait on that Is that a cat? Oh, it looks like a carp from here mate shoulders uh, I know it is oh. it's not, you're the same as me under do you know what I can't even tell it looks no it is a cat Yeah. 
Hold on a minute, that looks like a cart. See, I can't tell. Was it a cat? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Right, is that a cat? Is that you or is that? Yeah. Right, do you want me to put the video camera down? That's a good time. Yeah. That is an absolute beast. It's caught on a size 8 covert chod hook by Gardner. How fucking strong is that? Excuse me. Hello again, it's Ian Lewis with the Mistral Bait Gardner Tackle blog. A uh, little update, just uh, had a 3712 cat which I'm about to attempt to lift. Absolute beast. Ugh. Trying to escape them that. I'll have a go, ready? Look at that. Caught on a 15mm coconut ice on a Diddy little chod. Oh. Absolutely roused. Oh. oh. I won't play about a bit too much. Nice one. Cheers. Here we go, just returning this 3712 cat back to its home, the Yankee Match Lake. Just supporting it in the water after the long scrap. There she goes. Look at that, what a beast. Happy days. Not the intended species, but who cares? Nice one. <clears throat> Looking really good for another bite. Light drizzle coming in now. Wind direction seems to have turned around as well. Um, and due to the erratic take I had and taking out my other two rods despite fish and slack lines I've now uh, submerged the rods um, to try and keep any line out of harm's way should I uh, come across another cat or carp this up for a bit a few more people have turned up at the lake now it's getting quite busy to be honest with you pretty much all the bays all the, all the good pegs all sewn up so let's just hope tonight brings uh, a bit more action cheers back with the uh, Ian Lewis Gardner Tackle Mistral Bates blog um, nothing happened during the night uh, a lot of people turned up just before dark um, 
Hell of a lot of pressure on the lake at the moment. Um, not heard or seen anything roll during the night. See there's a lot of fizzing just there. Not by fish unfortunately, just uh, air coming up from the bottom or gases. Um, yeah, I mean the conditions are perfect for a bite but no, just nothing so give it a couple more hours and uh, I'll be off.